really weird bug. If I get too close, it'll get blurry. But okay, move back and zoom in. Do you see that? It's like a T. It's really weird. I don't know what kind of bug that is. I've never seen one like that. Interesting. So just a few days ago, it was really warm, sunny, and everything. Now, I'm looking for firewood. So it's all wet. Uh, there's some tree. Those are too big. Uh, so there's some good sticks, logs. I can chop some of this up. We can make a fire. Okay, I got some wood right there. This will be enough to last for a little while, but I have nothing to start it with. So I'm gonna pull some bark off of this tree. We have made fire. And I eat cookies. Today I got something in the mail. Garmin Chirp. It's a new product from Garmin. And it's a geocaching beacon. So basically what happens is you take your GPS and you go to your setup. You go chirp searching, turn that on. And I found one. That one. Show details. It is not programmed. You take this little thing and you hide it inside of your geocache. Or not inside, but somewhere somewhere else. But um basically what happens is when somebody who has searching on on their GPS gets close to it it will transmit data to your GPS, so like uh, coordinates for the next point, or hints. Um, yeah, whatever text you want to send over, the name of it and uh, a location. And then you can, you know, once it receives it, you can hit go on your GPS, so it will take you to the next point of your, of multi-caches or whatever. So, I will show you how to program your chirp. So, you can say edit details. And then you can change the name, change the message, or change the coordinates. But I'm not going to... Okay, change coordinates. And then you can actually pick the waypoint that you have set. And then that will bring you to a list of your waypoints you can send to it. You can send an actual geocache to it. Or manual coordinates. So I'm going to actually just send a geocache. The closest one to me that I haven't found right now. It shows you a little preview of where it is. You say send. Done. Now you go into the geocaching section. It'll say show chirp details. Hit that and it will show you information about it. Hit go. Now you're navigating to the point. So it's a pretty cool little thing. Not sure exactly what I'm going to do with it yet, but should be interesting. Shutting down because there is a thunder and lightning storm outside, and I really don't want to lose my computer. Is anybody else doing no shave November? I am. I started actually before November, I didn't realize. So I, this is starting from like 
um, October 25th or so. And, um, it's getting to the point where it's itchy. Ten more days. Anyway, I'm in the process of cleaning up this room and putting stuff away, so I'm just going to do that for a little bit and then edit together all these previous videos you just saw and then upload. And I will see you tomorrow.